For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Will. In 1996, Martin Lawrence released his directorial debut, A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, in theaters worldwide. Lawrence co-wrote the script with writers from his self-titled sitcom at the time. The film stars Martin as Darnell Wright, a man who knows how to get exactly what he wants from women. In the film, Darnell Wright meets Brandy Webb, played by Lynn Whitfield. Darnell charms Brandy, the two begin to date, but after some time he tries to end his relationship with her after he realizes he's in love with his childhood sweetheart Mia played by Regina King. Brandy doesn't take the breakup kindly and begins to make Darnell's life a living hell by beating herself up and blaming Darnell and destroying his car and property. Now, 22 years later, Lynn Whitfield would open up on TV One's Uncensored where she spoke on how she prepared for her role playing opposite of Martin Lawrence in A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Many found Whitfield's performance to be too convincing and realistic. It turns out the reason why is because some of the craziness of her character actually came from her personal life. For example, Whitfield's father was a dentist who told her that he had a patient who got her husband arrested after she beat herself with oranges. The patient realized that when beating yourself with oranges, it doesn't hurt, but you can bruise. In an interview, she went on to say, so I called Martin, so we kind of just built on everything. In the two minutes preview that was released, Whitfield also touched on how Martin pushed her during filming to make the scenes more realistic. I knew that when we did that monologue, we worked really well together. This wasn't the first time Lynn Whitfield had spoken on her role as Brandy Webb. In the 2019 interview with Page Six, she said, A thin line between love and hate is now disposable entertainment. It is an art that can be used over and over and over again. When it doesn't go away and stays, it becomes a classic. The theme is so real to humanity. People will always be able to use that mirror to help themselves, and that is part of what I love about this work. Unfortunately, this film would be Martin's first and last time directing a feature film. Even though Whitfield said she works well with Martin, the two haven't collaborated again since. Having said that, Lynn did guest star in a 1997 episode of Martin where she develops feelings for him. A thin line between love and hate remains a cult classic to those who've seen the film. Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And for more news and comedy, be sure to follow us across all social media. And one more thing, when you're ready for some new entertainment, check out ComedyHype.com for our upcoming streaming platform. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Jay Will.